some fun facts about my sex life. Sometimes it's non-existent. Sometimes I just gotta masturbate. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> there was one time where I thought I was, you know, being Billy Badass and I fucked three guys in a week. Had a mean yeast infection. <laughs> That's not funny. But it, it wasn't funny, but it, looking back at it, I can laugh now. Oh, I love being chokes. But like, don't fucking really try to choke me. It's just more of like your hand placement, like knowing that you're there. You see what I'm saying? You see how I just, like don't fucking try to choke me out, Ted Bundy. Like I love when I'm having sex and <laughs> I love when I'm having sex and you know how your hand goes back like this, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. And then they put their hand like that. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> What's up, What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands together. Welcome to the No One Cares channel. It's your boy, Troy. I appreciate you tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the no one cares channel where we talk about power dynamics self-improvement becoming the best version of yourself surviving and recovering as a man in life that's what we talk about on on this channel on today's topic i want to talk about pj washington and Brittany Reiner. Now, I done a video on PJ Washington a while back about the initial relationship that he had with Brittany Reiner and why I said at the age of 22, PJ Washington didn't know what he got himself into. And I stand by that. P.J. Washington, at the age of 22, still don't know what he's gotten himself into. Now, P.J. Washington is a power forward slash center with the Charlotte Hornets. He played college basketball with the Kentucky Wildcats. And it seems like he's been dating Brittany Reiner for a while now. Now, Brittany Reiner, she's a Instagram model, and she has been circled around, passed through a lot of men um, that have stature. Now, it's believed that she's dated Cassie. Casey Theroux, Colin Kaepernick, Trey Songs, Drake, Tiger, Chris Brown, Lil Uzi Vert, and a few other guys. Right? She's dated all these men. And then she's even gotten on video to talk about these men and to talk about how it's easy to trap them. She made a video talking about how these men don't use protection and how it's easy to trap them and how she can do it whenever she wants to. How these men are stupid. Now, she's put this video out. Everyone has a copy. A lot of people have seen it. And she has been planning on using P.J. Washington for a while now. If you look at a few photos, you can see her at the games. And she has been planning this out. She has been really strategic about trapping P.J. Washington. 
this is what women do. This is what the modern women do. They're very strategic. And it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like PJ Washington doesn't have social media, doesn't have the internet, isn't up on any type of information because how did he not see this coming? Now, what happened is PJ Washington got Brittany Reiner pregnant and a month after he got a pre- a month after the baby was born she's broken up with him and he found out that she faked the whole relationship. Now, it said that she can get approximately 200 and fifty thousand dollars a month in child support just by having PJ Washington's baby. So, man, we're gonna talk about this, and we're gonna take a look at a few things on why on why PJ Washington got fooled, on how he got tricked. We going we going to look into this man. I got some things I want to I want to bring to the surface. But first let's talk about this. Let me, let me read this man. Hornets PJ Washington and famous Instagram model Brittany Reiner appear to have broken up and Washington apparently feels like he got dumped. Just a few months ago, Reiner and Washington announced they were having a baby on Instagram. Fast forward a few months later, and both Reiner and Washington have scrubbed each other off their social media accounts while taking subliminal shots at each in their Instagram stories. So they've been going back and forth, and I'll put that on the screen. On Monday, in a now-deleted tweet, Washington appeared to call out Reiner for faking their relationship months after she gave birth to their child. NBA fans offered their condolences towards Washington now that he's likely to be forced to pay up child support payments in the near future. Now, now this, now this is crazy, man. Uh, this guy has really been fooled and tricked, and and no one warned him. No one warned him. Now, when you look at the past guys that's been with Reiner, I mean, you've had Colin Kaepernick make her pay for her own flight and. I mean, you've you've had past guys that she's dealt with treat her wrong. But then you got P.J. Washington who act like he doesn't know anything that's happened in her past. He doesn't know anything that's going on. And he gets her pregnant and now he's locked down for 18 years. Now, when I started to look at P.J. Washington's dad because... A man's father should be up on game and should be able to tell his son, hey, son, uh, man, what are you doing marrying this chick? What are you doing getting this chick pregnant? What's, what are you doing dating this chick? What's going on? That's what fathers are for. But the problem is most of these fathers are beta males. And when I looked at P.J. Washington's father, he's a pure beta male, pop belly. Pop belly. Looks like he's not up on any game. And when you look at the picture, I got this picture up. When you look at this picture, it looks like Brittany Reiner, her mom, got the game all planned out. But when you look at PJ Washington's parents, they don't they look like they don't know nothing that's going on. And this is a like a freaking problem. Because PJ Washington at the age of 22. Don't know what he's gotten himself into. And there was no one to teach him the ins and outs on female nature. Now. 
What PJ Washington don't know is Brittany Reiner, she's been passed around. She's been done wrong, you know, here and there. And the last man that a woman deals with has to pay for all the previous man's wrongdoings. So if Brittany Reiner felt like she's been done wrong in past relationships, she's going to take it all out on P.J. Washington through child support. That's how women work. They're not going to take the frustration out on that guy. The last guy that she's dating is going to have to take that punishment. And women punish weak men. And she recognized she had a weak man in P.J. Washington when she was watching him play for the Kentucky Wildcats. That's when she knew. That's when she knew she had a meal ticket. And she faked this whole relationship and used her son as a pawn to get money every month. Women are doing that. Women do that. They use their kids. For money. She don't really love her kid. She loves the security. The money. So that's what happened to PJ Washington. He wasn't guided properly. And when you look at his father. Who looks like a pure beta male. He wasn't there to show him and teach him. What he was doing wrong. And now P.J. Washington is going to be stuck paying child support for 18 years to a Instagram model. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel. And until you change your mindset, no one cares. No one gives a damn. Brittany Reiner didn't give a damn about P.J. Washington. Nobody gave a damn to teach this young man what he was doing wrong. No one gave a damn. No one cares. Brittany Reiner didn't care. No one cares. If you're a weak man and you're not up on your shit, you will get punished. Now, it's different if you understand female nature and you understand, hey, this is what women do. Now you know how to deal with them. I don't have a problem dealing with women because I know how they are. You don't trust women. You lead women. I learned that from the great Jason Black. You lead women. You know how they are. Don't get mad at the women. That's in their nature. It's in their nature to use men. It's in their nature to punish weak guys. We don't get mad at them. We just work it. We don't trust them. We lead them. And that's where P.J. Washington failed, man. He got him a fast, a fast 304. And I'm going to tell you guys one thing about these 304s. These, these 304s, if you don't know what 304 is, punch it in your calculator and turn the calculator upside down and that'll tell you what a 304 is. But it's in the DNA for a woman to be a 304. It's in the DNA for her to be fast and be and be a, and be a 304. It's in her DNA. She's a she she's either wife material or she's not. All right. There's no way a woman is just going to go from 304 to wife material, right? It's just like a, a, a cat, man. It's just like a cat. Once that cat comes off the porch and goes into the streets, once that pussy cat runs them streets and finds out that, hey, she can work that thing and get that money. And when she gets tired of getting that money, she wants to come in the house, come back on the porch. Yeah, she can come back in on the porch for a little while, but those windows at that house is always cracked and, sh and that cat is always looking out the window. And that cat 
is going to want to go back out on the streets again. And that's what happened to Brittany Reiner. She's been looking out that window the whole time, waiting to get back out on them streets. But first, she had to secure that bag from PJ Washington. She had to secure that bag first. And she had the baby, waited a month or two, dumped him. Now she can come back off the porch and go back and start doing what's in her DNA to do. And that's to get ran through. Until you guys change your mindset, no one cares. No one gives a damn. But just no one cares. And that's the man upstairs. And he wants you to become the best version of yourself and not get used by women. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm out.